I'm Katerina Rodriguez, and I'm taking on Globe's challenge to hunt for the best sites in the Philippines and the stories behind them. I have like butterflies in my stomach. I feel like throwing up and I'm still getting rained on. Seven places, seven faces. All in search of that one moment of wonder. I'm ready to be scene zoned. We're heading to Samar, the third largest island of the Philippines and home to the country's biggest cave system. Sugar, we're going down. Good morning. So we are on our way for some extreme caving. I heard the conditions are quite intense, so we're all geared up and ready to go. We are about to cross the San Juanico Bridge, and it is the longest bridge in the Philippines. So I am trekking for about an hour to the cave. I feel like Alice in Wonderland. Love it! If you look over the edge, you can see Gobingo Cave, which is where we're going. I'm super excited! Can't wait to see the bats and the blind animals. They can't see me, but I can see them. <laughs> we just arrived to the entrance of the cave and everyone's preparing to go on this really interesting adventure for the next four hours. And we're about to get a briefing by Sir Joni on what to do, what not to do. Wish me luck, guys, because I can't use the bathroom for the next four hours. <laughs> Masyado siya ditong impressive yung lugar dito dahil mamamangha ka sa laki ng formation yung mga boulders. Pag pumunta ka ng Kalbiga Cave, mapapawaw ka talaga sa laki. So we're finally inside the cave. Welcome to my home, everybody. We have reached this magnificent rock formation, which they call the stage because it actually resembles a stage by Mother Nature, of course. So we are now inside what they call the football field. It's a pretty large place. And we're about to have lunch because we're all starving after a long climb up and down through all the rocks. And it's like raining from the ceiling but that's the least of my worries. I'm actually pretty, pretty nervous about what's to come next. We're about to rappel in the dark down 10-story drop. If you even had your footing go off like the tiniest bit, you're gonna slip, fall, break a leg. I just made it down and I feel a lot like Lara Croft. We're now in this huge place with really big stalactites or what they call it, giant chandeliers. Super surreal, kind of like what you see in the movies, only better because it's real life. We exited the cave at the perfect time because it's the same time that all the bats decided to wake up. It was a wonderful adventure. And thank goodness for my battery life. I'm at 68% after like what, over four hours? I've actually conquered the largest cave in the Philippines and that's a totally worth it experience. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and be the first to find out where the next adventure is.